Swearing has become common in legal Armenia. Interview with an expert, what do people think? Welcome to the Armenian Network, your source for Armenian news and events all over the world in English. Last year, the Republic Armenian National Assembly adopted a law criminalizing serve insult and swearing. The adoption of the law was substantiated by the fact that swearing has become common in legal Armenia and administrative responsibility has not prevented it. In a few months, more than 800 criminal cases have been filed. A while ago, the Minister of Justice Karin Andreasian informed on his Facebook page that this law will no longer be included in the new statute book. We talked about the topic with lawyer Artasha Halatian. We also tried to understand the opinion of Armenians on the topic. Mr. Halachan, months ago, the National Assembly criminalized the serving salt swearing. Numerous criminal cases were initiated on that occasion. Nowadays, on June 10, the Minister of Justice, Karin Andreasian, announced on his page that the serve insult and swearing are being decriminalized again. How do you feel about this issue? Uh, yes, good moment, for I think that the circumstances that were the basis for criminalizing those actions have not disappeared. According to the decision of the ministry that the issue of compensation for the insult can be resolved within the framework of civil liability, in any case, the reality in Armenia must be taken into account. The realities in Armenia are such that the process of discrediting the authorities and state structures, including swearing, indecent vocabulary, etc., is carried out clearly and systematically. In other words, I do not know whether the Ministry of Justice has any information in its possession that the situation has somehow improved or not. At least, considering the information, I cannot come to such a conclusion. Mr. Khalatian, look, many criminal cases have been initiated, more than 800. If this article is not included in the new statute book, they will be terminated. In that case, people may assume that it is aimed at continuing their behavior. You see, there were many opinions that the government accepted the arguments of the European Union Western states because they mentioned that in this way a restriction of speech could be introduced, free speech could be restricted. This was the position of a government. What do you think? I do not rule out. But I must also mention that this act is not decriminalized in all European countries. There are countries where it is criminally punishable. When we criminalized that act, it did not imply a severe punishment for years. But the fact that the person gets a conviction, the numerous legal restrictions arising from it had a certain preventative feature. There he also paid a fine, but it was already being considered by law enforcement. In the case of a civil suit, the parties were equal. It is only a private claim. In this case, it seems that the person is defending his dignity. And in the other case, the state is protecting state institutions and the dignity of the person from serious insults. I think that the European institutions can have some influence on this change. But the question arises why they made this change in the past. The European structures at that time would not be satisfied with that change. I am very interested now if the government and the Ministry of Justice have such social data that they think the situation has become better. May I ask you a question? In your opinion, should severe swearing and insults be criminalized or should it be administratively punished? No punishment. Why not to punish? No. When someone swears, you should explain to him that it is not something good. What if he doesn't understand? If he doesn't understand, you should slap him and he will understand. I have been fighting for this nation for years, but there is no job for me to go to work. Hello, may I ask you a question? In your opinion, should several swearing and insult be criminalized? It must be. I'm sorry. I need to go. With nothing, everyone should say what he thinks. What about if he curses the other person? They can be fined for swearing. Let me ask you one more question. Why are people so aggressive towards each other? Why are they holding rallies? Do they have a leader? They have no leader. If Nicole is fired, who should they put instead of him? Robert Kocharian or Serge Sarkisian? It's enough. We are fed up. It was wrong to choose him too. He does not treat the people correctly. The prime minister must understand the people. He should understand, but he doesn't do it. That's why the nation is against him.
It depends on what kind of swearing it is. Someone can swear, but it must be funny. How can you punish it? Maybe that person is a madman. There, see? A man living there constantly comes and goes blaspheming. No difference between pushing him or not. You need to know the reason. If you find the reason why that person is swearing, the swearing will not exist anymore. Otherwise, why punish a crazy man? Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. In your opinion, if a person insults that the other person swears, what should happen? Do you mean strangers? In any case. Um, it depends on the swearings. It's about a serious insult. Maybe with criminals. Or with administrative. Maybe with a fine. Okay, thank you. I think with administrative punishment. In any case, they should be reprimanded. Restraint does not bring honor to our nation. It depends on the kind of insults. Severe swearing and insults. Maybe, maybe. Mr. Khalatian, we have conducted surveys among the citizens. Opinions have been voiced that they should be held administratively labeled, but in case of repetition, he may also be held criminally labeled. Is it legally possible to do this? I think there's no problem. This legal toolkit is acceptable. No legal problem arises, as taking into account the public danger of the act, different methods of responsibility can be envisaged civil, administrative, criminal. But I repeat that the criminalization of serious insult was conditioned especially by the targeted targeting of politicians, government representatives by certain circles. But we must look at the other side of the equation, whether this change will not adversely affect the current behavior of the opposition and the ongoing internal political tensions. In that sense, I'm skeptical that this change will actually lead to public solidarity. And there is another circumstance. Some cases of serious insults, such as swearing in front of thousands of live audiences, may also be considered hooliganism by law enforcement. In other words, we have an indecisive practice by law enforcement. Now let's see what Armenians think about this. Thus, we have reached the end of today's topic. If you want to know more interesting stories and facts regarding Armenians, please leave a comment. Bye-bye. Love, Manatek.